I'm going to show you how to download the free Tia Inspired Calculator on your iPad. So if you have an iPad, you're going to go to the App Store and you're just going to search Ti Inspire. Oops, Ti Inspire. And this should pull up some different options for calculators that you can download. I'm going to click on the one that says Ti Inspire. And whenever I click that, it should download. It shouldn't take very long. Um, Hopefully you have enough space on your iPad to download this calculator. Um, this is great because you can use it on your iPad. Um, there's so many resources in the calculator. There's a tutorial on how to use it. So we're going to give this another second and then I'm going to click open. And this should open the calculator. It's going to ask if you would like Inspire to access your photos. That's up to you. I'm going to click OK. And then you can, as you can see there's two folders in here. One's math and one's simulations. Um, there is information on how to use the calculator, so I can click getting started. And if you don't know how to use it, you just go through these slides that tell you how to do different things. Um, they tell you what each key means. Um, so if it's your first time using it, I would definitely recommend going through these slides so you can figure out how to use the calculator. Also, when you click on home, to actually use the calculate screen, you click new and then you click calculator. And as you can see at the bottom here, there's all the different keys. So four times five is 20. Um, also when you click on home, you can decide to keep this or discard. I'm gonna discard. I can click new and then go to graphs. So if I wanted to graph a function, let's say I'm trying to graph f of x equals x plus three. Click enter and there goes my line. Um, so have fun with this app. Hopefully you find this resourceful and useful whenever you're working on your math problems. Um, again, if you're not sure how to use it, I would click the getting started um, slides and just go through those slides. There's another one for getting started with the graph. So if you don't know how to graph, it explains how to do everything on here.